Hello, my name is Caroline. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. Now, I'm calling this a part six because at the beginning of this year, I did a five part series on how to configure Magic Mirror without the mirror. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who watched my videos, whether you watched the first one or just the third one or a combination thereof. Thank you so much for watching. Now, since I produced that set of videos, there have been some changes. First of all, Magic Mirror 2 has come out now. Thank you so much, uh, creators of Magic Mirror out there. Additionally, the Raspberry Pi 4 is now out. Some of us out there have tried to just update our Magic Mirror to get us to Magic Mirror 2, and I have found that a little bit challenging. This video is for folks who did all five parts of the original video and then realized that, first of all, there is an update available for Magic Mirror Google Photos that's now available. I was not able to do a git pull, which is kind of you know the way you're supposed to do it, but I decided, hey, why not save the work that I did in episodes one through five, reinstall, plus have all the features that I configured in the first five episodes on this Raspberry Pi 4 on the Raspbian Buster operating system. Let's get started. Now, first of all, this is my Raspberry Pi 3, and it is running the same version of Magic Mirror that you saw when we last left off in episode five of Magic Mirror. And the pictures are still up, time is still correct. By the way, the time on the right corner in the weather module is the time of sunset uh, and not it's supposed to be the actual time but unfortunately you know it says the google photos needs to be updated really everything kind of needs to be updated at this point and i'm going to show you how to do that it is going to be a little bit harder than just a simply a git pull which is what was recommended by the internet and i am going to just go ahead and upgrade to the raspberry pi 4 and magic mirror 2. this is my screen i'm going to hit Control m to minimize it and we still have Magic Mirror going. I've opened up a File Explorer window here, and this is the default of what you see in a File Explorer window. I've also inserted a flash drive into my Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to save some of the configuration files that I created in episodes one through five onto my flash drive so that I'll have it to transfer over to my Raspberry Pi 4. What files do I need? I'm gonna double click on Magic Mirror, and the first file I need is the config file. Where is my flash drive? It is under media, under pi, under one gigabyte. That is the name of my flash drive, one gigabyte, because it's one gigabyte. First of all, I'm gonna copy over the config file. Then let's go back to Magic Mirror. What's next? CSS, I did a lot of CSS, custom CSS in episodes one through five, and I'm gonna copy over my custom CSS and if you'll remember, there is a module so that I can get my pictures. So I'm gonna hit modules. Let's go into Google Photos. And there is a credentials.json file that I'm gonna need again. And I could download this again, but I, I found it's just so much easier just to copy that credentials file over. Hopefully that's everything I need here. And I am going to now shut down uh, my Raspberry Pi 3. So that's the end of Raspberry Pi 3. I am going to unplug that and plug in my Raspberry Pi 4. I'll be right back. And we're back. I've got my Raspberry Pi 4. This is a fresh micro SD card with Raspbian Buster installed. To get to this point, I've assumed that you've watched my first video about Raspberry Pi 4. If you haven't, I will link to it below. That shows you how to get Raspbian Buster onto micro SD card onto your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, assuming you've done all that, you should have a fresh copy of Raspbian Buster on your Raspberry Pi 4. I'm sure this will work with a Raspberry Pi 3 as well, so don't even worry about that. What's important is that I'm talking about Raspbian Buster, the latest version of the Raspbian operating system, and getting Magic Mirror to work with it. Now I've got Magic Mirror on my browser, so I've just opened up a Chromium browser and typed in Magic Mirror, dot builders i will link to that below but it's pretty easy to get to and it shows you the features of magic mirror 2 and i'm going to scroll down all you need is this beautiful easy install and you need this 
this one command. I'm going to hit copy and then I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to paste. And there it goes. It's starting to auto install Magic Mirror for me. And this will take quite a few minutes. I will take a break and be right back. Now my Magic Mirror has auto started. All right, excellent. So here we go. This is now the new default for Magic Mirror 2 on the Raspberry Pi 4 or 3 on the Raspbian Pi Buster system. So it works. It just right out of the box, this is what you get. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to hit Control M to minimize this. I'm back to my terminal screen and I do have a prompt that says, do you want to disable the screensaver? Yes, I do. Enter and there it is. All right, so we've got Magic Mirror installed on our Raspberry Pi 4 with Raspbian Buster. If I close Magic Mirror here, I'm going to close this, then it automatically restarts. Okay, excellent. All right. Control M. All right, perfect. Now we've got Magic Mirror automatically running. Now let's look at the modules that I used last time. Uh, the calendar module and the time module and the weather module were all default modules that came with Magic Mirror. I do not need to install those modules. I do, however, need to install the photos module, which displayed all those photos from my photo album, and the remote control, which was controlling the Magic Mirror with your smartphone. Let's work on installing those modules now. How do I do that? I do it the same way that I did in the first videos. I've got the GitHub page pulled up for MMM Google Photos. In order to install Google Photos, I'll CD into Magic Mirror and I will CD into modules. And there it is. These are the default modules that you'll see here, but I want to add Google Photos. So I'm going to scroll down and I will link to this below, but this is the Google Photos module. And to get it, I'm going to get clone Google Photos with the command and I will paste that in, enter. And now that is installed, CD into my new folder, MMM Google Photos, paste, enter. I'm going to ls and the files are there, but I need to npm install to get the rest of the files there. That'll just take a second. We are going to install all of those files. And as that is installing, I've got my flash drive inserted into my Raspberry Pi here. And now I'm going to start moving some of those files over. I've opened up a file explorer. I've got Magic Mirror going. I'm going to open up a second file explorer here. Over here, I'm going to media. And these are the files I saved from my old Magic Mirror. And over here, I'm going to go into Magic Mirror, move this over, and let's see, what do I have? I have a config file. All right, I'm going to copy the config file. Yes, I want to overwrite. I'm going to go back. Then I want to copy my CSS file. I want to overwrite that as well. Hopefully, uh, my modules are ready now. So I'm going to go into Modules. I'm going to go into Google Photos. And I'm going to copy over my credentials. And let's see how this is going. All right, excellent. My Google Photos has now been installed and I'm going to go into the next step, which is I need to go into node auth and test.js. I'm going to copy that. Let's see, where am I in the right folder? Yes, I'm in Google Photos. I'm going to paste the node auth and test, hopefully. That will uh, work. All right, so it is prompting me to sign in. And I do have two-factor authentication turned on on this account, so I'll hit yes. I want to do that. And now it says my app's not verified. Oh no, okay. Hit advance, and I'm gonna go to photo booth, unsafe. And I, it wants to access my Google account. I'm gonna hit allow. And then I'm gonna copy this code. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna paste the code. Right click, paste, enter. And then it's gonna give me photo albums because it is pulling from a specific photo album. What I did in the original, uh, actually part three, episode three of the original series is I copied and pasted the specific magic mirror, the photos I wanted it to pull from. All right, so I'm gonna skip over that. I'm gonna hit control C. It should work without that now. All right, excellent. And everything's in the config file. So I've copied over the config file. Next, I want to CD out of that. And I'm still in modules, but now I want to get into the remote control and I want to install remote control again. And how do I install remote control? All right, so I'm going to do a quick install. Uh, copy, hit paste. Um, yes, I want to continue. 
Yes, yes. We're gonna go into, all right, remote control is now in my file folder. And then it's like, do I wanna view instructions? No, I do not wanna view instructions. And there it is. All right, so I've installed the remote control, I've installed Google Photos, and I have moved over all of my CSS and my config file, and I'm gonna hit Control M. I'm gonna close my magic mirror, and then hopefully that should uh, force it to come back up again. All right, there it is. It's starting to come back up again. And yeah, there we go. So now you can see my photos, same photo album as before. And I have retained my CSS settings with that white background and the modules are working. Now you can see the time, the weather, the sunset time within the weather on the right side, and then the weather forecast in the bottom right-hand corner, and then my upcoming events. Now we've got undefined Atlanta US in the bottom right-hand corner. I've, I've seen a few comments about that. I'll show you how to change that. And then also it says IP of your mirror dot remote. Okay, not helpful if you don't know what the IP address is. And we're gonna comment that out. So now I'm gonna make a couple of small config changes now. So I'm gonna hit Control M to get out of that and I'm going to go into my folder here and I'm gonna go back over here so this is magic mirror and what we did in the previous video is we would always go into config.js and I would go into genie and I would make a few edits in genie so here we go here's our config.js first of all let's look at the weather forecast module so i've got the header it says uh, weather forecast i'm gonna put that back in because it needs that header it's looking for that he header i don't know why i commented it out or maybe it was just kind of default commented out in the previous video uh, so that's one change i'm going to make let me hit save so i don't forget about that other thing i notice is uh, show width show height you don't have to have the pixels you can actually just do like a hundred percent and i just learned that I'm not sure why i did it last time like that but hey it's time for improvements right and remote control all right so now i want to comment out position bottom left but i do need that comma there so i'm gonna add a comma right here and then and then comment out position bottom left and that will hide that remote that ip uh, address thing and that is about it for all of my changes let me uh close my magic mirror again let's pull it back up see if it comes out the way i want it to come out oh and there it is and here we are we've got the magic mirror going now we've got the photos going we've got that white the undefined taken off now it says weather forecast we've got my calendar we've got the weather it is warm out today here in atlanta georgia got the time and now the photos are rotating and now we've successfully moved our magic mirror configuration from raspberry pi 3 to raspberry pi 4 on the raspbian buster system I'm going to hit Control M. Now, the next question you have is about the remote control. How do we get remote control to work? That's a great question. It no longer automatically gives you your IP address. So if you don't know your IP address, uh, just go into your terminal and type in ifconfig. And now it tells you your IP address. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out everything. And I'm just going to do a full reboot to see if Magic Mirror comes up when I reboot this computer. Shut down. Reboot. Now, it does not look like it automatically restarted my magic mirror when I rebooted my computer. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the tutorial. I'm gonna open up the Chromium browser and I'm gonna open up a terminal and we're going back to magic mirror.builders and we're gonna follow the instructions that tell us how magic mirror will be auto started every time you restart your Raspberry Pi. Scroll down until I see the link for auto starting magic mirror. Now from the auto starting the magic mirror page, I am going to go down to sudo install dash gp I think I already did this in the install, but just to be sure, I am going to paste it again and it will install PM2. And then I'll be ready to PM2 startup as the next command. Excellent. Now I've installed that. Now I'm going to do PM2 startup, paste that. And it says in order to set up the startup script, I need to copy and paste the following command. All right, excellent. I'm going to copy and then right click paste and there it goes next i need to make a shell script 
and I'm already in the home directory so I need to copy then I'm going to paste and this is creating a new file all right excellent and what is going to go in my new file uh, the command to start magic mirror paste that control X to get out yes I want to save enter I want to save it as mm.sh excellent now I want to make it an executable file copy and paste enter and now I can uh, PM2 start I'm going to copy that and paste enter excellent now I'm going to PM2 save that no errors enter PM2 save if I need to restart it I can restart it so here it goes I'm going to hit control M and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that I'm going to restart my magic mirror just to make sure everything works okay perfect it is now working and I can take my phone I can go into my browser and go to the IP address I can edit my view all right let's say I don't want my weather forecast anymore there it is I turned it off and you can save that configuration I want to put it back because I like that configuration and so we go back to power and I can just hit shut down and this is the safest way to shut down your Raspberry Pi and here we are I rebooted my Raspberry Pi and here is the screen and it automatically came up that is how you have to set up your magic mirror to always just automatically boot into magic mirror every single time and now your magic mirror should be good to go with the Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 3 with the Raspbian Buster operating system thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye now